Hello everyone and welcome back to the Redux Toolkit introduction series. In the first video we're going to build the UI for the application you saw before. Here we have a blank React app created with Create React App for which I have just removed the unnecessary files. So we're going to slowly add the items to the, to the UI. First we're going to add the header. Here we're gonna import React from React. Then we're gonna create a constant called header, assign it to the arrow function, and we'll return a div from it that will have an h1 that will say personal library. Then at the end of the file, we're gonna export default header. Then we're going to go into the app.js and we're going to import the header from the components header and we'll just add it to the application and we can see we have the personal library header there. Now let's go further and we're going to add the add book section so this is the section that will have all the inputs and the button to add the book so we're gonna again import react from react create a constant and we're gonna return let's just return a form from now on export default add book okay so we have a form there let's import it into the app so we can see what we add and then we're gonna add the component Okay, now let's see what we need to add here. We're also also gonna import use state from React because we're gonna use it to handle the, the inputs. Okay, so we're gonna have a div which will contain a label name. We're gonna say it's for the title and also the text will be title then we're gonna have an input which will have the name title the value we're gonna create in a moment it's gonna be title and the on change listener will be set title to event.target.value okay then the next oh, I didn't close it okay the next one we're also gonna have a div which will have a label HTML4 will be author and we're gonna have the author label and the input with the name author value will be author and the on change will be event set author to event dot target dot value and we're gonna close the input okay and the last input here we're gonna have a label html or will be a rating it's gonna say rating and we have the input name is gonna be rating value for it we're gonna create all 
that state in just a moment after we finish the markup set rating to e dot target dot value additionally to this for this input we will need to add some more just to make it a number for the rating so the type will be number we didn't add it to the the other ones because the default type is text mean the min value is gonna be one and the max value is gonna be 10 and so we have our input the text formatted here because i'm using prettier and with the on save let's also create the button which will have an on click event attached to it and we'll call the add book handler it's gonna be a function that we're gonna create in a moment and it will say add book okay now let's create the state and uh, the function for the button so first of all let's create the state so we're gonna have the title and set title use state it's gonna be an empty string then we're gonna have the author and set author use state then we're gonna the last one will be the rating and set rating use state and we're gonna give it a default rating of five now let's create the function for the button for the button click handler add book handler it's gonna be an arrow function it's gonna take the event and we're gonna just event.prevent default for the moment and later we're gonna dispatch the action for adding a book from here okay so this is it with the add book component you see we got the inputs here okay last one we have to add is the table or the library component so we're gonna say it's the library library.js we're gonna import react from react then we're gonna have a constant library and we're gonna return a div for the moment we're gonna have an h2 which is gonna say library and at the end we're gonna export default in the library okay let's go into the app and import the library from components library library great and now we have the header in this library component we still need to have a table the table in which we're just gonna add the rows when we have books so we're gonna have a table the table is gonna have first of all the first is gonna be a table row with four table heads so in vs code i'm using shift alt and uh, down arrow to just copy my text my whole line to the one below so we're gonna have the title the author I messed up a little here and the rating and the last one is gonna be empty because we're gonna need an empty column in which we're gonna add the delete button and here we're gonna just let's create another row so you can see what we're gonna have it's gonna be a row with 
for td tags and here we we're gonna have the name of the book then the author of the book then the rating and on the last one we're gonna have a button which is gonna have the class name delete and we're gonna put an x in it and on click we're gonna have delete book handler I'll just create this function really quick because we're not gonna put anything in it for the moment delete book handler so this is gonna receive later it's gonna receive the ID of the book that will be deleted and we're gonna dispatch the delete book action from here okay so let's see what we have here so we have a button and the table great so now we just have we have created the markup for this application now the styling for it is gonna be some really simple styling so i'll just copy it from where i wrote it below before and we'll go really quick through it so at the top we have the Montserrat font from Google Fonts. We set the margin zero on all the elements just so we don't have any surprises. Then we set the background color and the margin zero on the body. We can actually remove this because I had it on everything. Then we have the font family. Then for the header, so let's let me put this on the side here. The header here is gonna need a class name of header. We have a background color, some padding, and the H1 is gonna be text white and the line center. So text white and a line center. So that that's the whole styling for the header. Then we go to the add book the form is gonna need a class name of add book and then we're gonna display the divs here flexbox and align them on the center and the, the direction is gonna be column we also have some padding then also the inside the divs we're gonna align the items flex and uh, we're gonna display the items flex and align the items center and have some margins some uh, bold for the labels and the input is gonna have a border that's gonna change color when it is focused some padding for it so it's gonna look like this so when you click on it it's gonna change the color of the border then on the button we have some padding a background color that is also gonna change when we hover it so when we do when we hover it it's gonna become a little darker and then we have the styling for the table so here we just have a header with some background color and some uh, and the color white for the text we also have to add the the class to the to the div it's gonna be library so here the h2 is gonna be white with a background color then we have some padding for the table row and uh, a bigger padding for the table headers we're gonna make uh, the odd uh, rows a slightly darker shade of white or gray actually and then we have some styling for the for the delete button which is gonna change from background color from red to a darker red when we hover it so like this and that's about it we have some margins here so we can align the button a little bit okay so this is the UI for the application that we're gonna build it's not really complicated but 
in the next video, we're finally gonna get to actually using the Redux Toolkit library and we'll see how awesome it actually really is. Thank you everyone for joining and I'll see you in the next video. Have a great day.